Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to talk about an individual first aid kit. What you see in front of you is an individual first aid kit, otherwise known as an IFAC, that I have assembled. And by no means am I an expert in this field. I've taken literally one Stop the Bleed course and read some stuff online and tried to improve kind of my basic knowledge of it. But I am already permit to carry holder. I carry, you know, 90% of the time I have my pistol on me. I should be willing to provide medical aid as well. This is an IFAC that I assembled and I use it during hunting trips, going up to the cabin. It's something I have in the truck, that way I can provide medical support if needed. So, by no means am I an expert, but if you are willing to carry a firearm and take somebody's life in the defense of yourself and others, you should also be willing to provide first aid to your fellow citizen. So, we're going to go over this thing here real quick, and like I said, by no means am I an expert, but I can point you in the direction of people who are, or places to get the proper equipment. So, what you see in front of you is a bag that I got off of Amazon. It is a savior bag, and it was like 17 bucks. So... Uh, cool thing about it, you can mount it to your headrest, and then you can pull the bag off of this back panel if you need it in a pinch. So, very straightforward is there. Uh, it's got a couple of straps on it, gear to that guy. And it's just got a zipper. And open it up, and it's a decent sized bag. So, just kind of going over some of the basics that I have in here. We'll go kind of section by section. In the very top here, I have a tourniquet and I also have a tourniquet in the middle and I carry another tourniquet in my truck so you should have a tourniquet if you're carrying a firearm you should have a tourniquet this one is North American Rescue Cat 7 tourniquet they're like 30 to 35 dollars buy one of these or a couple but know how to use it um, the one that I originally bought I had messed around a little bit myself you know put it on an arm tightened it down done all that kind of stuff to see is this how it feels and when I took my Stop the Bleed course, I was wrong. I was nowhere near tight enough. So get a tourniquet, understand how to use it, and understand where to put it, how tight to put it. Basically what I'm saying is take a Stop the Bleed course. Like, these things are super handy, but if you don't know what you're doing, it's useless. So buy a Cat 7 tourniquet or buy the one uh, with a metal windlass on it. That one's very good as well. This one's kind of your typical one, but they do make one with a metal windlass, and that's very important too. So either one of those is fine there. So I have a tourniquet up in the top. I do have a set of trauma shears as well. These ones are super cheap. They're like four bucks. Um, I have kind of watched some stuff on YouTube and some other people that know a lot more about it than I do, and these things are only good for like one person's clothing, but I actually have two pairs, one here, one in another bag. And then I also have a set of chest seals, and I bought the big guys. I will pick up a set of the compacts here soon, but these are chest seals, very important for chest wounds. So that's kind of what I stack in the top of it. And I got all of this equipment basically from North American Rescue's website, which I will link in the description, or I got it from my local gun store, the Modern Sportsman in Burnsville, where I took my Stop the Bleed course, and they also have a pretty decent selection of medical stuff. So, uh, yeah, Cat 7 tourniquet, trauma shears, chest seals, I got just some gauze as well. So, got to have some wound packing gauze. Same thing, North American Rescue. That's kind of what I have up there for now. The middle section, once again, I've got another tourniquet. Two tourniquets. I have some more wound packing gauze. Same thing, this is all North American Rescue stuff. And I've got some trauma dressing. I did buy one of North American Rescue's kits. And it had some of this stuff in it, so I didn't specifically pick everything out. Some of it was stuff that came in the kit, Oops. and that I have used from there. So another trauma dressing. This is what you do like around the outside of the wound. If you got to wrap a limb or an extremity, this is very similar to this stuff. So same kind of idea there. That is your wrapping, and then the very last little pouch here. And this one isn't as crucial as some of my other ones, but it's kind of leftovers and just extra stuff that I've had or have gotten so got some just some tape I have a couple of pairs of gloves that have come in some of the kits so throw some gloves in there good to protect yourself I did throw a couple of survival blankets in there they're cheap they're a couple of bucks but a couple survival blankets and then the last thing in here is just a petroleum gauze strip so that came in one of the kits that I had um, 
just a piece that was there. So the biggest thing is the ability to pack wounds, wrap that up, and then also apply tourniquet. So if you have not taken a Stop the Bleed course, I would strongly recommend you do that. Um, like I said, I'm in Minnesota. I went to the Modern Sportsman in Burnsville and took that course there, and I was very happy with how it taught you and kind of uh, showing the realism of it. So that one specifically focused on gunshot wound and trauma, that kind of stuff. So we actually, they have like a North American Rescue stump that you pack, you know, the gauze into, and you squeeze a bottle so you can have a flow of, you know, supposed to be blood. So you're supposed to, you know, unwrap your uh, gauze, whip it over your shoulder, stuff, wrap it around a finger, stuff it in that wound, find where it's coming from, basically find the vein, put pressure on that, and then use your other hand to pack the gauze in there. And you're supposed to be able to do that within like a minute. So it was a little bit stressful, very interesting the first time around. Um, we also practiced using some of this wound dressing stuff to wrap around it. And, you know, they have like a, same thing, they have a stump that's got entry and exit wounds, and you're supposed to pack it with that stuff and then wrap around it, or pack it with gauze and then wrap that around it. And then they had a tourniquet station, and we learned how to use a tourniquet. So, like I said in the beginning, if you are willing to carry a firearm to defend yourself, your family, or others, you should also be willing to provide medical aid even in just the most basic of methods, with something simple as, hey, I can put on a tourniquet and save you from bleeding out. Know how to use these things. So I'm going to continue my journey learning about, you know, basically trauma care and immediate first aid. And I hope you guys begin to do that as well and learn about it. And in the comments, if you have taken these classes, if you know some stuff, if you're a first responder, you got tips, you got tricks, you got something like that. Drop it in there. Let's talk about it a little bit. Let's begin to grow a community that's more capable, can help ourselves and others. So that's kind of the video for this week, guys. Something a little different, something I kind of wanted to touch on. Just the world's getting a little crazy lately, and I think it's very important that we all know how to provide even just the most basic first aid. So literally shove a finger in there. Like if that's what it comes to in some cases, just get a thumb in there, get... Hopefully you've got some wound packing gauze. You've got something like this that you can put in there and help. Don't just pour, uh, what's that, quick clot stuff in there. burns it. Don't do that. That was specifically instructed in that in the class. Do not do that. But like I said, the world's getting a little crazy lately. And I think more and more we should know how to take care of ourselves and others. So take a Stop the Bleed course. Take another one. Look up stuff online. Find good sources. Um, I will link North American Rescue in the description of this video as well as another YouTube channel that I've been kind of watching a little bit. So, kind of a different video this week, guys. I just kind of want to touch on some of this preparedness and the ability to provide medical attention. So, thank you so much for watching. Love seeing what we're, the growth on the channel. Love seeing where we're going this thing. I appreciate it all. Drop something in the comments if you know anything about first aid or you have experience using a cat or some cat tourniquet, I should say, something like that. Just drop some of your experiences in the comments and let's talk about it. Thanks so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.